when adapting a manga into an anime. Of course, there will be some differences between the anime and the manga. Today, in this video, I will be going over some of those differences. I will be categorizing these as minor and major differences, so I would like to quickly go over what a minor difference is and what a major difference is. A minor difference would be something like giving Mozu and Kiwi red hair instead of black hair. While a major difference would be introducing a main character earlier in the anime than they were introduced the in the manga. The first difference is how the series started. In the manga, the series began with the story of Luffy and Shanks and told the tale of how Shanks lost his arm protecting Luffy and how Luffy gained the straw hat from Shanks. While in the anime, the series began with Luffy arriving on Alveda's ship and taking on Alveda and freeing Kobe. In the anime, the events of the story of Luffy and Shanks and how Luffy attained the straw hat were not shown until episode 4, while the manga started with the tale of Luffy and Shanks. In episode 4, the anime did not depict the entire Luffy and Shanks flashback. Parts of it, such as the part where it showed how Luffy got the scar under his eye, were not shown during episode 4. In fact, the scene where Luffy got the scar under his eye was not animated until years later in episode of Luffy, Hand Island Adventure Special. Because of the fact that we are talking about how the series started here, I am going to rate this as a major difference between the anime and the manga. After Luffy punched the Celestial Dragon in the manga, he was given the middle finger by Law. In the anime, this was censored with Law simply giving Luffy a smug look. Now, this is not the only time Law's middle finger had been censored in the anime. In the manga, when Law gave his speech about the Straw Hat creating miracles to Don Quixote Do Flamingo, he gave Do Flamingo the middle finger while giving the speech. However, in the anime, they would once again replace with a glare or a smug look of some kind. Due to the fact that this is nothing more than censorship and removal of the middle finger, I am going to rate this as a minor change. Well, and yes, it does take away from a badassness of the moment. It still did not affect the overall story in any way. I am going to rate this as a minor difference between the anime and the manga. So One Piece anime has a habit of getting the colors wrong. After Luffy defeated Arlong, Nami had her Arlong pirate tattoo removed and replaced it with a new one. However, in the anime, the tattoo is purple. That is incorrect. In the manga, Nami's tattoo is black. Now, this is not the only time the One Piece anime had gotten the coloring wrong. In the manga, Robin is depicted with brown eyes with dark pupils that are very wide. However, in the anime, she is depicted with blue eyes, and this is including Strong World and Film Z. In the anime, Robin's skin tone is also slightly darker than it is in the manga. In the manga, Robin's skin is much lighter than it is in the anime. However, after the time skip, the anime did correct this and made it Robin's skin color match what it was in the manga. However, this is still a pretty major mistake considering they messed up on the coloring about two parts of two of the main characters and members of the main crew. So, because of the fact that Nami and Robin are main characters, I am going to have to get, make this one be a major difference between the anime and the manga. The last difference between the anime and the manga that I want to talk about today is something that happened during Whitebeard's fight with Akainu in the manga that would change drastically in the anime. In the manga, during his fight with Akainu after the death of Ace, Whitebeard got half of his face blown off by Akainu, but in the anime, they changed the scene so he only got half of his mustache blown off, and it made Whitebeard look a lot weaker. Because in the manga, of course, he's missing half of his face, and he still continued to beat the everything crap out of Akainu like he did in the anime. But he's missing half of his face. That's the difference. In the anime, he was just missing his mustache. I think, personally, that this is a major difference between the anime and the manga. 
I think it affects the way we see the character. Not necessarily the story, but the way we, the way we as the audience, see the character. I think it's a major, major difference because some people think he's a lot weaker due to the staff that he was made to look a lot, a, a lot weaker in the anime. While in the manga, of course, he was made to look a lot stronger because he kept on fighting with an admiral evenly and nearly killed an admiral while missing half of his face. So yeah, I think Whitebeard getting his face blown off in the manga, but not getting his face blown off in the anime is a major difference between the anime and the manga. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video where I discussed a couple of the differences between the anime and the manga. Remember, if you did enjoy, to like, comment, and subscribe. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation signing out. And tell me your thoughts on these changes in the comment section down below.